Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at one of my all-time favorite games and its history for the Sega Master System, Black Belt. There are some games that collectors and gamers like myself just can't bring myself to selling or getting rid of. My collection of games and its growing library really started with the Microsoft Xbox 360 while I was growing up. We would usually trade in older games so we would get enough money to buy that next console. For the most part, I kept the consoles but lost many, many great games dear to my heart. Black Belt was one such game I could never sell and was the first game I ever owned on a Sega Master System. It wasn't that it was my first game that I ever owned or that I let my mom buy for me. When I look back at the games that I never let go of, I come to one attribute they all have in common, gameplay. Just like the original Super Mario Brothers, you can always just pick up and play for hours on end. Black Belt was the same way for me. Black Belt was developed and released by Sega in 1986 and was translated for my popular Japanese anime named Hokoto no Ken, which was known to be the Fist of the North Star in the US. Having no clue on the differences until I made a Black Belt video for my favorite 8-bit music in 2020, I was absolutely clueless and with good right, as the Japanese version looks completely different. This was one major translation from Sega. The premise of Fist of the North Star was what made it so popular was the action, blood, and gore that the main character Kinshiro, or Ken, masters an ancient martial arts that allows you to hit your opponent and the opponent explodes. I was like 10 years old when this happened and it was truly awesome to see. And now that I look at Black Belt, it truly makes sense now. When you attack the normal enemy, the pixel bodies explode just like the anime. This alone shocked my eyes as I didn't have Mortal Kombat yet and this was bad guys blowing up all over the place, just in pixels with no red blood. The differences between the game are massive, but both have the main characters save their romantic love at the end of the game. Although the storylines are similar, everything else was changed. The levels of Black Belt has the main character Ricky roam around China to Japanese influenced themes like temples and such to inner cities and really has a distinct look and difference in each level. With Fist of the North Star, the levels are darker and more towards a futuristic apocalypse based on the anime and is done quite well. The bosses are different in color and design as well, where Black Belt tries to engage a more realistic look as if based on a live action film. The gameplay remains untouched, and this is where the game truly excels. The ultra responsiveness of the character with their actions are smooth and easy to pull off when making their moves or super jumps. Boss fights feel just right as each opponent requires different combinations to beat them. Overall, Sega translated a completely different game to the US market in comparison and it shows with longer levels, harder boss fights, and a bit different soundtrack. I'm pretty surprised how far Sega went with the modifications to translate the game. I doubt many companies would make the move to primarily keep the gameplay and premise of the game, but overhaul almost everything else from the stages all the way to the look of the individual enemies. Although pretty short, roughly 20 to 30 minutes long, the game proves it lasted the test of time with its fantastic gameplay, memorable boss fights, and unique soundtrack. If you've never played the game, I urge you to take a look 
an emulation if you don't have the console. Playing this will remind you where all those retro action side scrollers are so successful today because they focus on the gameplay. That's it for me on this look at my favorite Sega Master System game, Black Belt. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Thank <laughs> you.